I was in Seoul in 1988 covering those Olympics uh, and the big story of course was Ben Johnson winning the gold medal and then a few days later losing it. I also covered the Dublin Inquiry. That was the Royal Commission called to investigate the circumstances around Ben's failed test and further look at the drug use uh, among Canadian athletes. Over the years with Ben, uh, I've kept in touch and you know, the obvious things, whenever there was an anniversary, five years, ten years after Seoul, we'd sort of catch up and do a story. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago, I just asked him out of the blue, I said, well, can I look at your lab results? And he said, I don't have them. And I said, oh, okay, well, who does? And turns out nobody really did in that, in that inner circle that was in Seoul. So that put me on a bit of a fact-finding mission. I was trying to find those results just to see what was in them and uh, eventually it took me to library and archives in Ottawa and the Dublin Inquiry had had many exhibits filed uh, over the course of that one year uh, commission and um, I had to do a freedom of information request to get the information but we got a list of the exhibits and through many many pages of the exhibits we found that yes indeed uh, a German doctor had come to the Dublin Inquiry and filed Ben Johnson's lab work. So it was part of the exhibits. And then I had to work with the librarians uh, up in the Ottawa area, and they were great. And they helped locate all the exhibits, including the lab reports and some of the other supporting materials around Ben's lab results in Seoul. Eventually, the librarians were able to send all that to me in a PDF. And when it landed on my desk, uh, that's when we got started. We saw that the lab report wasn't a small, tidy document. It was, in fact, a very long document with lots of paperwork and uh, uh, some of the revisions and alterations and other items that needed explanation were, were quite apparent, and that's what set us on this, on this story.